the success. This is the story of a talented Turkish girl. Melda Umor Seginer is a Turkish musician. She is a successful double bass player. Her music story begins from her childhood. She loves music and she says my life is music and music is my life. She studies the instrument double bass at Doku's Elul State Conservatory for seven years and graduates at the age of 22. She gets a scholarship from the University of Arts Bern and moves to Switzerland. The first days are really hard for her. There is nobody around her. No family members. No friends. It is a different country with a different culture but she never gives up. She has two master degrees between the years 2009 to 2012. Then she performs concerts with State Symphony Orchestra of Bern in Switzerland as an intern. From that moment, she starts to play film musics with many Oscar-winning composers and performs numerous concerts all over the world. As a little child, she imagines herself in different countries, meeting new people from different nationalities. I give concerts in different places. One day we are in Tokyo with Japanese people and one day we are in New York and another time I find myself in Royal Albert Concert Hall in London. It is really interesting to meet new people from different cultures, she says. Her motto is, nothing is impossible. First believe then hold on to your dreams. Hi Jake, one, greetings from Tokyo, I'm at the International School of Japanese, I'm in class 3 with 6 other students, they're all from different cities, Paris, Agra, Cairo, Nevsetir, Rome and Sydney, our teacher's name is Ayumi, she is very kind and funny, she's a very good teacher, two, I'm with a Japanese host family, the Akiyamas, Mr. and Mrs. Akiyama have 3 children, Yoko is 12, Keiko is 10 and Hiro is 6 years old. They are all very friendly and polite, but it is difficult to understand them. I miss my family a lot, especially little Lucy. They are my nearest and dearest. 3. Tokyo is a very nice city. It's crowded, but the streets are clean and safe. The temples in Kyoto are stunning. They are about 1,500 years old and I'm very lucky because it's the cherry blossom time here. The natural landscape is amazing. Sushi is delicious but not for breakfast. Write to me soon. All the best Mike.